Morning, folks. Jeff from RV Diagnostics. Uh, continuation of the WeBoo system that I'm mounting. Had to do some modifications. Plus, this uh, member wanted to have their power antenna hooked up, uh, raised and lower. Pretty neat little device. Uh, we'll see how long it lasts because of the origin of the country. But, uh, and yesterday I messed up too because I had the camera upside down one time somewhere. Sorry about that, folks. I'm not a professional video. I don't think nobody's going to be out here with me at 7.30 in the morning. All right, so here we go. I'm trying to get ready to go camping myself. <laughs> but I promise I'd have this done. And, all right, so there's the mount. Remember, this is the one that goes on like your luggage bracket or something on top of a car. And this is the power antenna. This is the motor that goes up and down. This is how you adjust it. So one click at a time is what I did. And I got it down this low. But as you see, that ain't good. So this is the bracket. It comes with the WeBoost kit, which would be a complete circle right here to mount the antenna spring on. All right, so what I did is I cut a V in it, glued a little vacuum line on it, and I'm going to put that thing right there. I really didn't want to put more holes in the roof, but it is what it is. All right. So just to let you know, that's a modifi another modification. So here I go. I'm going to put you on pause and get that done. Okay, what I did is put that in there. I pre-drilled some holes with two screws. I'm using stainless steel screws. These are 10 by 3 quarters. Uh, most people put regular screws. You don't want to do that because they rust and then they rust in the wood if they ever do leak and then they snap off and there you go. We just keep getting stuff complicated. Use stainless steel screws. All right, there we go. We got it all tightened up, siliconed. We took this down one more notch because I want it to sit in here firm. That's lined up. Let's see how it works. All right. Unfortunately, you got to hold the button. Down below, it ain't automatic. So, but you know, for what it is, it does pretty good. Be right back. All right. So it came down. Remember, this is how you the upper limit, like where it goes straight up, and this is the lower limit down. And she's in there pretty tight. Got a little play because of the spring. All right. She's all cabled in. I don't think that's gonna pinch, but I'll put a little zip tie right here to cover my butt. And on that side of that, she's looking pretty good. All right, folks, time to get down from here, go inside, and finish this up. All right, folks, we're going to continue this video. I'm going to go get me a little bite, it's breakfast. I think it's like 8 o'clock, 8 30, something like that in the morning. Um, remember, it's a continuation video on this. Thank you. This is Jeff from RV Diagnostics.